his lungs. Uh, That's a you, it's a you, it's a. And the paint. Uh, this here is the BBC Home Service. Yes. Yes. It's the Ghana. Sir! Yes. My lord, it's good to do it. Tell it again, tell it again. You can't tell it again. 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 It's a lie. It's the truth. Come on. Keep Reddington White. Is the BBC home service? Back to Ghana. You're right. We stopped waiting. My lord, ladies and gentlemen, back from the dead, we present half an hour of continuous radio fighting in both corners. The Goon! Yes, sir. Yes, master. <laughs> Tell the masses what we have in store, Ellington. Yes, master. Ladies and gentlemen, the goons and myself, after a successful season of unemployment in Ghana, <laughs> returning to the air for a long series of one. <laughs> they commence with a mystery play packed from end to end with mediocrity under the title of... Mary Poppins is a junkie. <laughs> The crimes you are about to hear have been specially committed for this program. <laughs> Here to tell you the story with words is Captain Harry Seagull. Thank you. I remember when it all started. At the time, I was asleep in my electrified elephant hammock. <clears throat> I'll say that again. At the time, I was asleep. Shut up, Milligan. I'll thump you anyway. I'll step on your foot, boy. At the time! <laughs> At the, at the time, I was asleep in my electrified elephant hammock. Went through the pigeon hole, flew a carrier pigeon. There was something strapped to his leg. It was a postman. Uh, letter for you, sir. Thank you. Hurriedly, I tore open the letter. Inside was an envelope. <laughs> With a message that said... Reported once to MI5. The letter was written... <laughs> The letter was written in a disguised voice. <laughs> Hurriedly stepping on a fresh pigeon, I flew out the window. Come in. Captain Harry Seagoon, reporting for duty as instructed, sir. I'm ready to die for the flag, bleed for my country, suffer great sufferings, and all for England! You twit. <laughs> Pull up a chair. There you go. Somebody open a window. <laughs> so this was a fabulous... So this... This was the fabulous Lance Brigadier Hercules Goodpipe Sin. I drew up a chair and placed it on the table next to him. Gad, how cunningly he was disguised. Stark naked, save for a sou'wester, string lorgnettes, <laughs> and a pair of identical pimsels. Now, Captain Seagull. Yes, 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 yes. Please don't do that. <laughs> Captain, you have been specially selected for a specially dangerous mission. Does this mean I've been specially selected for a specially dangerous mission? So you've guessed. <laughs> you're no fool. Oh, I don't know, then. Hmm. Sikun, you ought to make your way to Budapest via Hungary or Hungary via Budapest, whichever you prefer. Will I have to go abroad? If all else fails, yes. <laughs> it's a dangerous work. I suppose I'll have to take risks. Yes, and a small pot of tea. <laughs> what does this mean? It means you've been chosen to go abroad with a packet of risks and a small pot of tea. Cheap! <laughs> For what reason? Reason? Does there have to be a reason? Ying tong in life all. I see what you mean, yes. Well, if that's the way you feel about it, I'll tell you. Pull up a chair. Hey. Oh. <laughs> uh, Any questions? <laughs> yes. I'm yeah. sorry, I had a yes there. Yes. I had a yes, it said. Yes, I said. <laughs> yes, no, I said. <laughs> One thing killed the Briton. Oh, yes? That was our defeat by the Hungarian football team. I fear those Magyars did for us, lad. I have a woman who does for me. <laughs> Hello, sailor. <laughs> Before they play again, we must make absolutely sure they don't win. Does this mean sabotage? You may well ask that. 
I did ask it rather well. Yes, you did. You did, you did. Thank you. Pull up a chair. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is Operation Explodable Boot. You will make your way to Budapest. Once there, you will contact our British agent, X. X? How do you spell it? X. <laughs> how do I contact him? By whistling a highly skilled, mysterious secret tune. The moment he hears it, he will hand you a sealed envelope, heavily sealed. But the secret tune? It goes like this. <whistles> Wait! That's the Hungarian Rhapsody. <laughs> I've got news for you. <laughs> What's the secret about that? Fool, didn't you notice I was whistling in English? I know. But there are thousands of Hungarians who can whistle in English fluently. How dare they? Mm -hmm. In any case, I can't whistle. Curse from the film of the same name. Oh dear. <laughs> we shall have to think about this. Pull up a chair. <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, while Captain Seagoon and the Brigadier are thinking, we, the BBC, would like to entertain you with a smile and a song from that well-known tenor, Webster Smogpool. I should like to commence my program with a song that is rapidly climbing to the top of the horse guards parade. <laughs> that lovely melody that I have recorded for my latest film, which is now showing north of the river, and it's called, If I Had to Do It All Over Again, I'd Do It All Over You. <laughs> Seagull. <laughs> oh, uh, hush. Um, hey, anything when you can't think of the words. <laughs> Start again, do it again. This is all extra stuff. Right. I've got it, Seagull. See a doctor. That was... <laughs> it's the old ones that are going down tonight. I see. Yes, yes. I've got it, Doctor. <laughs> yes. Short and throat? Yes, sir. Send in our highly skilled, mysterious, whistling espionage agent. Right. You mean you'll send a man with me who'll do all my highly skilled secret whistling? Exactly, exactly, and exactly, and in that order. Yeah. Sigurd, this is the man who can remember a tune no matter how difficult or complicated. How do you do? Oh, you do? Very well, thank you. Good, good, good. How's your old dad? 